Uh, hi, hi, Mtiaz. Welcome to our program, The Business Detective. Uh, can I begin by asking you what inspired you to become a stock market speculator who takes large bets for large payoffs? Good morning, Adinesh. Thank you for having me here first. Uh, I would like to correct you. I am not a speculator in the stock market. I have a, about almost 35 years experience uh, investing in the stock market in local and overseas. And uh, I have a, my own company also. So uh, now and next month I'll be 25 years. Uh, I'll be celebrating the 25th year for the company, and hopefully very soon, uh, another two three months, I'm planning to go for an IPO also in the company. So yeah, I'm a more than a 10 billion rupee uh, investment company already. Okay. So are you a long term investor? Investor or I'm a long term investor. Basically, I, I go into a lot of details, and if I see my most of my shares are almost five ten years, I'm I've been holding. Okay, this in terms of governance in the private sector, what is your what is your point of view? Uh, reasonably all right, but I'm sure there's a lot of uh, room for improvement. Uh, we also like you know time to time we are taking up uh, issues in the Twitter and uh, the CAC and everything to improve in certain areas. As uh, minority investors or, or high net worth investors, we need more information sometimes from the companies. For uh, especially when we are making l large amounts of investments. We need, need more information to be uh, obtained from them. Okay. In terms of boards and all that, but is, are you uh, satisfied with some of the boards that are already in place? Uh, they have independent uh, directors, but uh, it's always appointed uh, with their, uh, uh, I think, uh, close friends or whatever. But you can't expect much, I think. You know, I think most of them are quite very quiet. I think they don't bring up any issues much, I feel. So they go by with the companies, uh, whatever, you know, they... Okay. So, Imtiaz, I know you have a big following on Twitter and all that. Uh, can I ask you a question on uh, on the performance of the market and uh, what the market will look like by the end of the year? End of the year, I'm looking at the current, if you see the Bloomberg uh, P ratio is around uh, 12 plus, but CAC sites shows around 14. So I am I feel at least 18 our market can uh, trade at because if you see the regional markets all are trading about 20. So if you're looking at around 18 plus from 12, it's another 50% can go up. So currently we are about 13,000 plus, so easily 20,000 I'm expecting by end of the year, 18, 18 to 20,000. Okay. Why hasn't the banks uh, fired in the stock market? They've been more or less stagnant. Uh, initially, I think a lot of foreign selling was there in the banks. And thereafter, um, I think uh, the shareholder limits of only 10% is allowed. So if they can increase that to 15% and there will be more players, uh, they can increase their stakes. So that will uh, absorb the liquidity. And also people had their own uh, feeling like, you know, the banks are like had these moratoriums and, you know, some bad debts can come in. But we see quarter by quarter, last four or five quarters, they have been improving. The profits have been going up. I think banks know how to... Uh, <laughs> get their uh, accounts right, like, you know, they know to uh, create value. So I don't really uh, worry about in that area. So moratorium, if it finishes even still, uh, they will perform well. Has the dividend uh, ban been an, had, had, had an impact on the performance of the shares? Uh, not really, because the last one and a half years, we are on a bull run in the market. So people are more uh, interested in the capital gains more than the uh, dividends. So, but anyway, the banks have not performed. It's uh, all, most of the banks are trading around uh, half the book value. And uh, if you see the P ratios are also around six, seven times only when the market is around 13, 14. So I, I'm, I'm sure the market will uh, now start. There is some talks going on in the social media that the bank uh, sh uh, shares has to be related and start moving on now. Okay, uh, I have, uh, since you have been in the industry for a long time, uh, what are the five stocks you would pick that would give a decent 10% plus return for an investor going forward? Uh, I don't want to name mention names, but as industries, maybe I can uh, give some of uh, these things. Like the manufacturing, for sure, is uh, one area because of the uh, import restrictions and all that. I think a lot of uh, manufacturing companies have benefited. Second thing will be dollar-based because of our uh, currency situation. Dollar-based companies are going to do well. Uh, third will be like renewable energy uh, going forward. Our energy has to be improved and there's a lot of scope in that area. Then logistics is another area. Like, and, and plus maybe international trade, people who are in international and growing. Uh, those are the uh, main areas I'm looking at. 
Okay. Uh, I don't know whether it's fair to ask you these questions. Who are the rising stars in the market at the moment? Again, uh, it used to be like the um, diversified conglomerates, but now you can see it's getting shifted into uh, dollar-based companies and manufacturing and like uh, logistics companies are the currently. And maybe going forward, maybe on technology companies also are coming in might be another area to look at. Yeah. If you are forced to sell any of your current large stock positions, which would you, what would you sell? Uh, if some of my portfolio is not performing well, uh, not due to price wise, but if it's the companies are not performing, uh, then I will, I'll try to get rid of those. But if, if I see, see potential and the, like, like, for example, like these banks, like, you know, the potential is there, but the price are not moved. So I like hold tight on those things. Yeah, I know it, someday it's going to go, go up. So it's not because of the pricing, it will be more about the company's performance, whether they are, you know, they are agile and they are ready to move with the new norm and, you know, keep shifting that kind of, a, if they're not uh, doing that, maybe I'll take a call and say, uh, this company group is not doing well and maybe shift into something else. I know you have been hugely successful in the last two years. Uh, does luck cause a play a part in this uh, stock market uh, for stock market investors? Uh, maybe for new investors, the luck might uh, work for a few times because they're also following the social media and they got a lot of get a lot of tips without much research doing. So maybe getting those information, it must be the luck. They can call it like a luck because at least because others have done the homework and they are getting it easy. But uh, for me, it's not luck. I think I, I would call it like a, you get opportunities once you have grown big and uh, you are. Uh, <clears throat> People call and give you good blocks and say these are available. You know, are you ready to buy 10 million shares or 100 million shares? Then you get those kind of opportunities to you. So that way, yes, I, I'll call it. I wouldn't call it a luck, but it's a uh, your hard work. Hard work as is paying off now. Uh, quickly, uh, uh, I know uh, investing in the market is a very stressful thing, right? What really uh, got you into this? Uh, as I said, I've been there for the last 35 years. I've been uh, looking at it and uh, doing a lot of research, studying. So it's not uh, just I just come in for a short period and just do. So it's in my blood now. Like, you know, I, for me, everything I see is about all about related to stock markets. So I've been in various businesses and I have experience in lots of businesses that I have done. So uh, coupled with that, it's uh, quite easy for me to understand and, uh, and I enjoy it. It's a passion for me to, to build them. One for me, yeah. Okay. If you are to hold five stocks for the next 10 years, what would they be? Uh, again, as I said, it will be more international trade companies who are diversifying. Uh, like if you want to like just name some groups, I can just say like companies like LOLC group is uh, diversifying very fast. Haley's group is also uh, is another one. Maybe John Keel's uh, holdings, uh, uh, I think the future uh, businesses will be doing well, like soft logics. And uh, companies like those are uh, looking forward for the future looking good. Okay. But what about companies, <laughs> but they are not uh, moving fast enough. You know, they're just holding on to their portfolio or their businesses. And maybe they're 50 years old, 100 years old, but they are not they're maintaining the same, just grow, looking at a 5% or 10% growth. But now the new norm we are looking at, you know, 50, 100, 200% growth, we, are, we need to look at those numbers. Well, what about the logistic companies? Logistics is uh, uh, is really doing well. Uh, currently, also one of the local companies has really grown uh, going overseas. Uh, I think they will be performing and it's going to be one of the international uh, brand name that uh, they'll, they'll bring in the results. And in quarter by quarter, we are seeing very good results and uh, it will keep moving forward like that. Okay. Uh, so, MTS, my last two questions would be, where would you like to see the market by 2024? And what support would you need from the regulator to get there? Uh, by 24, I have al already, I mentioned my targets, you know, a long time ago in NFT times and in my Twitter and all those things. Like, you know, it has already materialized for 2020. I gave my targets. For 21, I gave my targets and it just reached on time. On Actually, one day late, it came on the 12,500. Uh, now, end of the year, I'm looking at uh, around 20,000. In 24, I'm looking at 30,000, my uh, things, if everything goes well. And I have a lot of hope that the economy will start uh, turning around going forward from now onwards. So I have a lot of hopes because a lot of companies are going to come, new companies will be coming into uh, IPOs, into the stock market. And uh, I believe the market will be quite aggressive going forward because interest rates are very low. 
taxes are very low so it's a good platform for the companies to make good monies and it will reflect in the share prices so that will okay. take the mark to about 30000 by 24 okay okay how do we get some of these foreign investors back foreign investors i think uh, uh, one thing is because of the downgrading uh, they are keeping away uh, second thing is because of the exchange rate also they are thinking there might be a depreciation and they are holding back so all i feel by around march my feeling is that uh, most of these uh, currency issues uh, should uh, get get sorted out because they are talking with a lot of countries and hopefully if those numbers come in it's going to be quite big so if like a big number comes more than 5 billion dollars can come within 2 3 months that's uh, going to be a huge amount for sri lanka so that will change everything so with that i'm sure the foreigners will start looking at it because sri lanka has been the best performing uh, uh, share market uh, for 21 and uh, they have missed out a lot so if you see the last 3 years our depreciation has been only about 10% uh, 2018 we were 182 rupees the dollar now official rate is only 200 203 it's only 10% for 3 years it has depreciated although unofficial we are looking at different rates but uh, the market has performed uh, over 50% 100% and in certain shares it has gone even to 300 500% uh, it has gained so i think they have missed out a lot not only the foreigners even the epf has missed out a lot in the market and i'm sure that they are going to come very soon okay and finally any advice for retail investors given that the market is now close to 13000 yeah so they have to be careful first thing is just not to be in that herd uh, instinct kind of a thing just keep following now uh, so they have to do their own research also so time to time there are lots of social media uh, details are coming out on technical analysis or on fundamentals or you know giving some recommendations so you have to be careful and choose and do your homework not just believe someone and just go and buy uh, if you do the homework uh, it, it can reward you very well but if you don't do and just take your shortcuts it can lead you into bad investments also okay so thank you mtls and good luck with your uh, investments thank you very much thanks dinesh for having me today